Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike. And JJ, and this highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. The sights, the sounds, it's Long Beach's oldest sports tradition, Long Beach Poly's homecoming, the 111th homecoming game for the Jackrabbits in the 123rd year that the school has been around. At this point, isn't everything that's a Poly tradition the oldest tradition in Long Beach? It is two years older than the city itself, which is pretty unique. Compton coming in, trying to bounce back from a tough loss to Milliken last week. Tar Babes having their best season in a decade. I absolutely love this. The sportsmanship handshake that we've seen a few years ago is back. Keep it here, man. CJ Montez is going to find Elijah Juarez on the little swing pass. Juarez averaging about 15 yards per touch in the Moore League, and this is going to raise that average. He goes for 55 yards down the right sideline. Color me not shocked that Juarez is going to take this thing in and put Polly up 7-0. He gets better every time he touches the rock. That's scary. 6'2", 215 pounds running the ball in the Moore League is a big dude, but Compton coming right back at you. Terrence Pratt and the Tar Babes get the ball moving downfield. They had a great first drive. Pratt with six runs in a row. That's going to bring Compton down to the Poly 29. And it, frankly, this is great for Compton because they're not going to be playing Division I teams in their playoffs. So if they can get to the playoffs, they know, well, this works against anybody. But we saw it last week against Milliken. Bad snap. Alex Austin going to track it down. Jesse Brew back in the backfield again for Compton. But when you're playing on a knife's edge like that, your drive is going to stall anytime you have a bad play. And sure enough, here you go with Compton. they got to turn it over on downs. You're exactly right. This is not an offense that leaves any margin of error because then coming back the other way, Kiwan Markham with the very nice punt return for the Jackrabbits to get them into Compton territory. And then you know they're going to turn around and hand it to Juarez. Just look at the balance. This is the run that made me think about that. I mean, this kid is big, and yet he's always leaning forward somehow. It's impressive. He's got that Eddie George gains two yards every time he falls down thing. And sure enough, he's going to fall into the end zone there to make it 14-0. Then after another defensive stop for Polly on a three and out, it's a Another nice return, this time from Austin, the Oregon State commit. This kid makes more playoffs, uh, highlights in the playoffs. I might move to Austin. <laughs> Juarez with another big carry. You're getting me all hungry for brisket out here is Ocho. Uh, Juarez might start selling tickets on his shoulder pads at this point with how many defenders he's carrying per run. He racks up 193 total yards in this one and three touchdowns for 30. Uh, but the Jackrabbits defense also keyed in in this one with a shutout. Fair catch. Kiwan Markham, another interception. This one with a high degree of difficulty with a defender slash receiver hanging off his shoulder pads. There were bodies on the floor, Mike. Then when they get the ball back, they're going to give it to Juarez again. The strong left stiff arm is going to give him some space. Give me some room. Give me some room. I need the juice. <laughs> Montez on fourth down and one is going to wisely pull this ball and give the Jackrabbits a big option. You can understand why the defense is concerned with Juarez, the way he's running it. That's going to give Polly a first and goal. They're going to hand it to Dalen Fuller, who certainly earned a touchdown in this game. Oh, Fuller in the house. It's hard being the signal caller on defense against this offense, but he did a great job of it. Meanwhile, the Brew crew, Jesse Brew, with a big game to start the second half. Compton definitely needed that momentum. But I'll just be honest with you, man. This does not look like fun when you're going up against the defense that can read what you're doing. Back comes Juarez, 30. I, <laughs> there's nothing really left to say. I'm just so excited for this kid. Yes, for sure. Definitely excited to see what he does the next couple weeks and into the playoffs. Meanwhile, Keontae Lanier with a 15-yard touchdown run, the sophomore QB, uh, gets in to make it 35-0. He's Jack more Roberts. just like a sophomore athlete. But he could pretty much do it all. Yes, he's a receiver, quarterback, for sure could play DB. Meanwhile, Brew and the dudes marching in the fourth quarter, looking to get on the scoreboard, and the tat tat deuce taking the ball into the Jackrabbits' red zone. But playing on that knife edge, if you slip, you're going to die, and the ball comes out inside the 20 and bounces to, wouldn't you know it, Dalen Fuller, who had 10 tackles for number 10. Leads Polly in this one on defense, the small but mighty award for him. If for Dalen sure. Fuller is the small guy on this Polly defense, they're going to be all right. He's pretty small for a Polly <laughs> linebacker, but he's always making the right plays. Jackrabbits win at 35-0 and will wrap up their regular season against Jordan and Lakewood. Big games ahead for Compton for coverage of that and everything else. Long Beach Sports, you got to keep it right here.